Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death and Above. Today, we're going to do a God Roll Guide on Hollow Ward's Legendary Energy Fusion Rifle Holes for the Hole. <laughs> what? That's the first time I've read that flavor text. But okay, sure. Uh, what I like to do in my God Roll Guides is I will take a look at a gun in Destiny. We'll talk about it. We'll go over the weapon stats. We'll look at the curated rolls if there is one. We'll look at the random rolls. I'll talk about PvE, talk about PvP, and I'll pick a few of my favorite God rolls, quote unquote. So my God roll may be different from your God roll, but that doesn't mean that my God roll is not more right than your God roll. So let me know what your God roll is in the comments. Uh, first, you'll figure that out in a second. Uh, let me know what you got, what you like, what you're using this gun for, and what uh, what's your favorite gun in Destiny right now? I don't know. I'm curious. That's a good question for you. So let's get into the weapon stats. It has an impact of 80, which is okay. Not the highest impact for a fusion rifle, but it's okay. Range 54, stability 44, handling 31. That's a low stability. Reload speed 28, not too good. Charge time 740. That's a that's not a fast charge time. On the slow end, magazine size of 6, aim assist 63, inventory size 26, zoom 18, recoil 75, bounce intensity 25, and it does tend to bounce vertically. I found it's it doesn't have the most range of, you know, say an, a pre-nerf ear until or anything like that. It feels okay. It sounds Ladies and gentlemen, it sounds wonderful. I love the sound of this gun. Uh, gameplay, PVE, PVP. We'll talk about it. The talk about that towards the end. But I don't know. It didn't tickle me in any other ways other than the sound. But let's get on to the curated roll. We'll talk about uh, what you can get from the curated roll. I think this is the one that you get from something. I don't know where the curated roll comes from, but it is a, a chambered compensator, projection fuse, feeding frenzy, unrelenting. Feeding Frenzy for a fusion rifle, maybe? You should be getting kills most of the time in PvE and PvP when you shoot this gun. Unrelenting, rapidly defeating targets, triggers health regen. Yeah, those two together work pretty good. I like it. Um, it's a bit of a slow fusion rifle to get something like that on, but I can I can dig it. I can dig it. Um, so let's look at the perks. We'll go through each one. We'll go through the barrel perks. We'll go through the battery perks, which would also be mag perks if it was a different kind of gun. But since it's a fusion rifle, we have battery perks. Then we have the two weapon perk columns. I do see my favorite fusion rifle weapon perk right there, and I like it. I did think I do. I don't remember off the top of my head what my role, what my role was on the one that you're watching the footage of, but I think I had backup plan. I'm not sure. It might have been a couple different roles because I did have a few. I had a few of these early on this season, so I used quite a quite a bit of them. But uh, let's talk about barrel perks. You got chambered compensator. This one will give you uh, stability bonuses. Handling penalties and a recoil bonus. Um, oh, the color coding. Yellow means the community has agreed that it's good. The perk, not the perk on the gun, but just the perk itself is good in PvE and PvP. Blue mean, or purple, depending on your monitor, means that the uh, perk is good in PvE. The red perks mean it's good in PvP. The community has agreed on light.gg, where I pull these perks from. So, like I said, chamber compensator, stability bonus, recoil bonus, handling penalty. Um, for a fusion rifle, I usually want to go range and stability. So this one's got stability. Lose a little bit of handling, but that's not too bad. Recoil of plus 10. Not too bad. I can get behind it. Fluted barrel will give you stability and handling bonuses. Okay. Polygonal rifling will give you a stability bonus. I like that. Small bore will give you a range and stability bonus. That would be my choice so far. Hammerforge rifling gives you range. Arrowhead break gives you handling and recoil bonuses. Corkscrew rifling, range, handling, stability bonus. That's pretty good. I like corkscrew. So far, I'm at corkscrew and small bore is my two favorite. Then we have extended barrel, which gives you a range recoil bonus with a handling penalty. Then you have full bore, range bonus, stability, penalty, handling, penalty. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling corkscrew rifling and I'm feeling small bore. So remember those two for me, guys. Small bore, corkscrew. All right, battery perks. Enhanced battery will give you a bonus in the magazine size. For enhanced for battery perks on a, on a fusion rifle, I like an impact perk. Because don't these? Yeah, yeah. Liquid coils will give you more impact, yeah. So you get mag mags, mag size, mags. Hey, mags. That's like someone's name. Ionized battery reload penalty mag bonus. Don't like it. <laughs> they already have slow reload as it is. I don't want it to get slower. I don't, I don't care about a big mag on a fusion rifle. Uh, liquid coils, impact, bonus, charge time, penalty. Yeah. Particle repeater gives you stability bonus. 
Projection Fuse gives you a range bonus and then Accelerated Coils Impact Penalty Charge Time bonus. I do have a gun uh, that is a fusion rifle. It's a fast firing fusion rifle that I like having Accelerated Coils on it. I use it for PvE. It's amazing. I love it. Uh, Proelium, I think, is the name of it. It's, it's so fun. But this is a slow fusion rifle. I wouldn't want this on that uh, or on this one. So not a fan of it here. I would probably go... Probably go liquid coils because it gives you the impact. You can go with projection fuse for the range. Does anything give you stability? A little bit of stability on particle repeater. I wouldn't feel too bad if I had that. Um, so yeah, yeah, projection fuse or particle repeater would be fine. I probably would go with particle repeater, but it's kind of a uh, toss up here. Let me know which one you'd pick. All right, weapon perks. Killing wind, final blows grant increased mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration. If you're PvPing and you can get it and keep it and use it, that would be a solid perk on a fusion rifle. I like it. Feeding frenzy for PvE. Yes, it's good. I don't know how good it would be on a fusion rifle, especially one like this. I guess if it double stacks on a kill when you kill multiples with one burst, yes. but I have not tested that. Maybe it's in the video footage. I didn't check. Lead from gold, picking up heavy ammo also, also grants special ammo, basically. I like lead from gold, it's neat. Uh, slideways, sliding partially reloads weapon magazine and temporary boost handling and stability. I love slideways for PvP. I love slideways for shotguns in general. I love it. Uh, I always, when I pull out a shotgun, I will slide and think it's going to reload it, even though most of my shotguns don't have it. The ones that I use the most do have it, though. And then we have quick draw weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. And we have under pressure improved stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower. Under pressure, don't doubt it on a fusion rifle. That could be very good. Uh, then we have Vorpal weapon is the second first, second first, second column first perk. Uh, increased damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians where they're super active. Yeah, I could see that being useful. And then we have unrelenting, rapidly defeating targets. We talked about this above in the, uh, in the curated role, but... Uh, rapidly defeating targets triggers health regeneration guardians and powerful combatants count as more than one kill So you have to kill more than one target if you're doing little red bars to get unrelenting to proc I didn't know that at first so if you kill a guardian it will proc power combatants so a yellow bar Yes, if you kill a red bar. You got to kill more than one Disruption break breaking the enemy's shield with this weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period I like this if you have you can't get back at playing at this and disruption break at the same time but if you had, uh, say, Killing Wind and Disruption Break and you pop a shield and then move your Kinetic, probably a good combination. And then you could, Or if you had Slideways, you could pop a shield, do the damage, and then slide to reload. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, surrounded, the weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity. Good for SMGs. I don't know that I'd want that on a Fusion Rifle. Sympathetic Arsenal reloading after a final blow also reloads stowed weapons. Could be cool. Most of the blows from a fusion rifle are going to be final blows, giggity. And, uh, I, yeah, I've tried to use this. I haven't really gotten it to gotten it to be too useful or noticeable. Uh, but it's, it sounds neat. And then we got backup plan. Grants reduced charge time and increased handling speed for a short time immediately after swapping to this weapon. This is the gold standard for fusion rifles backup plans. You want a really high impact, really slow firing fusion rifle with backup plan for PvP. You want it to have high stability and and decent range. That's your solid PvP fusion rifle. Then you put backup plan on it and you say, yes, please. So you have your primary out, you run towards the target, you flip out your fusion, you fire it real quick, and then you just profit. So I love backup plan on fusion rifles. It doesn't always work too well on every fusion, but stuff like pre-nerf air until when I did have a backup plan version, oh. I still use it, it's still fun. I have it. I think my Proelium with the super fast fire rate has backup plan on it too. So I pull it out. I can, I can fire it twice before backup plan wears off. That one shoots so fast. It's fun. You should check my videos. There's there's old videos of it where I just have fun with it. Um, but what do you think? What's your what's your favorite role before I pick mine? I'm gonna go small bore. It's always a good choice. I'm gonna let you guys tell me which one of these you want because I'd go small bore and it's. I'd be okay with, with these three right here, range, stability, or impact. Probably go stability with particle repeater. So it controls the recoil. And then, uh, mm, oh. killing wind. It's cool. I don't know. I don't know on this gun. 
I don't know what I'm going for as far as, far as the god roll. I know what the specific application rolls are. Um, arrowhead break, corkscrew rifling, something like that. And then a slideways backup plan for PvP. Maybe slideways and uh, unrelenting for PvE. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm more uh, interested to hear what you want to roll on this one than some of the other ones I've done recently because I just don't know what the best roll is, but I'm sure you'll tell me or you'll point me in the right direction. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what gun you want me to take a look at next. Hit the like button if you got to this point, and I will give you some uh, candy next time I see you. And uh, until then, until next time, I'm Death Above, and I'll see you later. See you, bye.